Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to talk about real quick in this video, since we're on the topic of network design, is using proper IP addresses inside of your private network. So um, there are you know, ways that you can obtain actual internet routable IP addresses. You, you have to go through uh, an organization in your region that, that uh, either assigns those numbers or you have to go to auction and buy IP. Then we're talking about IP version four, not IP version six. Um, and if you don't actually own some IP addresses, you shouldn't use them inside your network. I'm starting to see this more and more again. That's why I wanted to touch on it. And uh, there is a set of numbers that is available as a best practice. And the reason that you should use these numbers is because they are not routable to the Internet, right? So they either have to, if you're going to use them, uh, you know, for VPN or connecting to other things, it's all got to be done behind the firewalls, behind VPNs. And these um, IP addresses are called RFC 1918 addresses. And you should use... RFC 1918 addresses because they are designed to be on the inside of your firewall and you can use any of them. And um, when you look at this, uh, my picture might be over the last part of that, but I'll leave a link to the RFC 1918 address allocation for private internets from IETF, uh, that, that governing body. I will leave that down in the comments, but You've, we've got three ranges of IPs that we should be using if we don't own actual public addresses. And even if you do own public addresses, you're probably in 2023 not distributing them to every computer, every device inside your private network. You're probably going to use a lot of firewall rules and NAT, and you're going to conserve IPs. But these are the three ranges. And so you can see the first one is 10.0.0.0 .0 .0 through 10.255.255.255. And that is a slash 8. And then you've got 172.16.0.0 through 172.31.255.255, which is a slash, uh, was that a slash 12? And then you have 192.168.0.0 through 192.168.255.255. And that's a slash... 16. Now, it's important also that you don't just use these entire ranges because if you have a subnet mask of 255.0.0.0, that's that slash 8, it uses all of these IP addresses or it gives that, that network, right? And just because you use a certain range inside of this, like 10.10.0.1 .10 through 10.10.0.255, if you're using the 255.0.0.0 subnet mask, you're still actually within this entire range, and that's not a VLAN. Uh, that's just a small segment of this huge network that you are opting to use um, in, you know, in your design. And it's not a good design. It's also not a good design to use publicly routed um addresses that you don't own, especially if, if you're doing a VPN to somebody like AWS or uh, one of these other big companies, because they are probably not going to allow you to route to what they know to be actual public IP addresses, routable addresses on the internet inside of your network, because those addresses are probably being actually advertised somewhere else by a route somewhere else that's going to take precedent over your over your VPN. It's just bad design to use to use IP addresses that you don't own. So I'll leave a link to this. Let me know down in the comments. I've got a couple other videos uh, talking about subnet masks and things like that. But I want I wanted to really um, I wanted to really talk about this because it's it's for some reason it's it's it comes up every couple of years. And you know don't use IP addresses that you don't own. Don't use subnet masks that are too large. Um, if you uh, sign up on our uh, form, looks like we're going to have our remote training for network design best practices in November. Um, so if you go down and make sure you're on, you know, you get on that interest uh, list, I'll be sending an email out here towards the end of the month, kind of shoring up some of those details. So that'll be a, a two day remote training. And, uh, 
uh, make sure you get on the list. I'll leave a link to the RFC uh, page that describes all of this in more detail than I can. If you've got any questions, let me know down in the comments. And make sure, if you like this video, you give it a thumbs up. That you should subscribe, comment, and share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with uh, affiliate links and Patreon link if you'd like to support the channel. Keep us cranking out these videos. And if you need IT consulting to fix maybe an RFC IP address problem or to right size your subnets or talk about security or storage or voice over IP, head on over to willyhow.com. Click, uh, uh, actually right now we've got a form on the front page. You can just fill that form out, click submit, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. Make sure you only use IP addresses you're allowed to use. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.